All right. Uh, the only the only bad part about this is it looks like a really good topic, and we only have eight minutes to talk about it. All right. Uh, Ned Johnson is on the phone. Ned is a teen coach for study skills, a uh, parent teen dynamics um, expert, I guess you might say, an anxiety management per, uh, expert again. He's featured on NPR, News Hours, U.S. News and World Report, Time. You get the picture. He's made the rounds and talking about the self-driven child, this, which is the title of the book he has written. Written, the Science and Sense of Giving Your Kids More Control Over Their Lives. Good morning, Ned. Thank you for being on the show with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah. yeah. Are, are we uh, automatically self-driven as, as young people, or is this something that can be taught? Well, there's a bit of both. I mean, the, the big self-drive you see with kids is play, right? And they will work endlessly on building those Lego things, even if it's, even if it's frustrating. But we certainly want to have, uh, help develop in kids the, the sense of motivation, the sense of control as they get older. And principally, that's by giving them choices, even if sometimes they know those choices aren't going to be great outcomes, because we get wisdom from experience, and we get experience from those occasional bad decisions. When, when we try to instill in a child... Um uh, motivation, get them motivated to do something, anything, um, are, are we sabotaged by um, the, the instant gratification uh, mentality that we see today? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the motivation model that, that, that's the most successful one basically says we have stressors, you know, sometimes it doesn't go well, and then we fully recover. And we stress and we recover. And when they, when they do this research with rats, they created what they called California laid-back rats, who were both almost Im immune to stress, but they are also remarkably more courageous in going out and exploring the world. And so if you have a kid, I mean, you think about your own experience, you, clearly all of us have had things from our childhood or adulthood that didn't go well. It was an injury. It was a, it was a disaster. You lost money, whatever. But having gone through that, in, in hindsight, you can tell yourself, look what I can get through because I've already done it. Yeah. And so it makes us more courageous, you know, taking on adventures going forward because we, we know that we can bounce back if we have to. Why do uh, so many children, uh, why, why are they diagnosed with uh, attention uh, uh, deficit disorders? Well, it's, it's not entirely sh clear. I mean, part of it may be that we didn't know that this existed, um, you know, 25 years ago, right? And so now that we, we understand the diagnosis, people can, can actually diagnose it. There's also a, a, a possibility that some of this is being overdiagnosed because to, to make the diagnosis of ADHD, you have to first rule out a lot of other things, including anxiety and depression. And it, it may be the case that um, that's not always happening, in part because the symptoms can look really Really similar. The, the book, again, is called The Self-Driven Child. It is written by our guest, Ned Johnson, and William, uh, S S how do you say his name, Stixford? Stixford. Yep, yep. Stick okay. Uh, and I just wanted to tell the audience that this is number one on several categories. I was just looking at it on Amazon. It's number one in the psychology category, adolescent psychology, and parenting. So you, you're obviously doing something right. What, what do you get as feedback from parents who, let's say a parent really, really has been trying their hardest, but they just didn't see one angle or, or something, and they say, oh, my gosh, I never looked at it this way. What kind of... What am I stimulating in your in your thoughts right now that you've heard from parents? Well, well, part of it is it is it validates a lot of what um, parents feel. I mean, because a lot of parents feel like it's their most important job to just drive, drive, drive their kids to be super academically successful. And the reality is, you know, ninety percent of kids by definition, cannot be top 10% of their class, right? And so you make a lot of kids really stressed out, and a lot of them just kind of get, well, if I can't be top 10%, why even bother? And then parents feel like they're bad people if they're not riding their kids all the time. And we're saying there, there's a different model to go about this, that the most important work of adolescence is developing the brain that you're going to have for the rest of your life and also trying to figure out how are you going to contribute to this world. I mean, there are kids who are kind of so-so academically, but they're really good good at understanding people, right? So they're great as salespeople that makes them great therapists, it makes them great CEOs of company. Maybe they're great as interviewers on TV or radio because they have that interpersonal skill that might have nothing to do with whether they get a good grade in chemistry. So how do we know as parents, how do we know what direction to, uh, to encourage them to go in if they display talent in something or 
ability in something? Is that is that a clue? Yeah, I mean, there's a, one of the guys we talk about in our book is named Reed Larson, who's his guru on pastimes, and, and he describes that the, the best brain development for kids happens in their passionate pursuit of pastimes. If I have a homework assignment, I do it to get it done, but if I'm trying to, you know, work on a, a guitar lick for my band or I'm trying to work on a, 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 a trick in soccer, I will work it and work it and work it and work it and work it endlessly, right? Mm -hmm. And that constant drive to do something that really matters to me it's, it's a brain chemical called dopamine that's all about seek and reward, rather a brain chemical that's about fear. And this is sculpting a brain that can work really hard with intense focus. And then, of course, down the line, you can take that skill and apply it to anything in the world that, that, that sparks your interest. And, and I would hope that as little young human beings, we grow up to be adults that also are self-motivated. Uh, I, I know that when we take some courses in life, uh, some directions, if you're in the military, for example, um, it, you kind of discourage from doing things your own way. You have to follow what the orders are. Um, in the workplace, sometimes, sometimes not. But I, I, I'm always in favor of people um, harnessing their, their inner passions and, and pursuing things with self-motivated uh, Fuel, I guess. I don't know how else to say that. Ned, I, I am so uh, I am so grateful you came on and so apologetic that it's such a short interview. The book is called The Self-Driven Child. I found that on Amazon. It's number one in several different categories. Do you have a website? We do. It is theselfdrivenchild.com. Okay, easy enough. Thank you for being on the air with us. Good luck and come back with the next one. Delighted to have to be we'll, here. We'll Thanks. be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The president speaks shortly from the White House, where the flags lowered to half staff in honor of the 17 people killed in a shooting at a Parkland, Florida high school. Suspect Nicholas Cruz charged with premeditated murder. His social media accounts under scrutiny. Local law enforcement officials describe that account as, quote, very, very disturbing. A number of pictures of the suspected shooter with guns and with knives. Fox to Steve Harrigan. Two of the seven people injured are are in life-threatening condition. A bipartisan group of lawmakers striking a new immigration deal in the Senate. The proposal put together by the so-called Common Sense Coalition includes a path to citizenship for 1.8 million illegal immigrants brought to the U.S. as children and provides $25 billion for border security. Fox Radio's Rachel Sutherland, the president, suggested he'd veto any bill that strays from his four-pillar plan. Fox News report, you decide. When hiring, you don't have time to waste. You need to get to a short list of qualified candidates fast. That's why you need Indeed.com. Daryl is hired with Indeed. Using the site saves me a lot of time. It makes my job so much easier. Post a job in minutes. Set up screener questions. Then zero in on qualified candidates using an intuitive dashboard. Your time is precious. Let Indeed help you get to your short list of qualified candidates. Post a job at Indeed.com slash hire. Search for greatness. Search Indeed. It's been called shell shock, war neurosis, and battle fatigue. Today, we call it post-traumatic stress disorder, and it affects one out of every five warriors returning from battle in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Wounded Warrior Project offers comfort and support for warriors with PTSD and all other scars of war, whether those scars are visible or hidden. Find out how to help, because for warriors, the greatest casualty is being forgotten. Please visit WoundedWarriorProject.org. Okay, guys, listen up. It's that time of year again. Little chocolate hearts, roses, earrings, Valentine's Day's coming up. Last year, you got me slippers that didn't fit. The year before, it was a steering wheel cover for my car. And don't even get me started on the vacuum cleaner incident. Now, don't get me wrong, flowers and jewelry would be nice, but this year, I'd like something I can thank you for every single day. That new bathroom I've been dreaming about. You know, the one with the rain heads, body sprayers, touchless faucets, bodet, and even the seat warmer. So here's what you do. Step one, return the crockpot and apron that you thought were good ideas. Step two, pick up the phone and call Mike Scott Plumbing now. You heard the lady, guys. Call today to schedule an appointment to visit one of our beautiful showrooms, the main showroom in Hernando or the new showroom in Wildwood right across from Brownwood Square. Call today, 237-2888. That's 237-2888. And remember, if water runs through it, we do it. Mike Scott Plumbing. And that leaf blower in the closet better be for your mother. 
the NFL alumni, is sponsoring a Clays for Kids, a sporting event to benefit the Marion County Champions for Champions. The event will take place at the Robinson Ranch in Inglis, Florida on Saturday, April 7th. Call 427-0950 for detailed information. The NFL alumni will provide gift bags, breakfast, lunch, prizes, and drawings throughout the day. Call 427-0950 for detailed information on the Clay for Kids sporting event hosted by the NFL alumni. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. A gunman opened fire at a South Florida high school yesterday, killing at least 17 people in the deadliest school shooting since Sandy Hook in 2012. The shooter has been identified as 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz. Reports indicate that Cruz had been expelled from the school for disciplinary reasons. The school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, is in Parkland, Florida, in Broward County, about 45 miles north of Miami. Broward County Sheriff. Of Scott Israel said most of those killed were students. A football coach was also killed, and the son of a deputy is reportedly recovering from being shot in the arm. The Broward County School District says the school will be closed today and tomorrow. All activities will be canceled. Cruz, who officials say was equipped with a gas mask and smoke grenades, set off a fire alarm to draw students out of their classrooms before he began shooting. A law enforcement official says Cruz allegedly posted high highly disturbing material on social media before the shooting rampage. Governor Rick Scott has ordered flags to fly at half-staff until Monday, February 19th, to honor the victims of the shooting. Following the school shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, One Blood says South Florida area hospitals need O negative blood donors. The Florida Blood Center says that while immediate blood needs have been met, hospitals need to replenish their O negative blood supply. One Blood is asking donors with O negative blood to visit a donor center or the organization's Big Red Bus Blood Drive to donate blood. O negative is the universal blood type used for trauma patients. The organization said in a news release. Eligible donors include healthy people age 16 and older who weigh at least 110 pounds. One Blood said interested donors can make appointments by visiting oneblood.org. After the deadly shooting in South Florida yesterday, parents everywhere are concerned for their children's safety. A product developed in Gainesville could bring parents some peace of mind. It fits inside of a backpack and it is bulletproof. It could also save a life during a school shooting. The backpack insert was designed by a company called Phalanx Defense Systems in Gainesville. It is made from the same ballistic material that you would find in the military or law enforcement equipment. It comes as a panel and there's even one design that looks like a binder. The bulletproof products are sold in gun stores and sports stores around the country. The CEO of Phalanx Defense Systems says they don't usually sell their products at their location in Gainesville, but under the present circumstances, he says he will open up his business to any parent wanting to buy one to protect their child. Puerto Rico's housing department said yesterday it will suspend a $133 million deal with the U.S. company hired to repair homes damaged by Hurricane Maria because a review board found the contract was improperly awarded. The department's contractor review board published a ruling on Tuesday that New York-based Adjusters International received the contract, which was subsidized by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, though it did not meet several requirements. Eric Perez Ochoa, an attorney for Adjusters International said in a statement that the company complied with all requirements and is studying the board's decision, adding that it was deeply disappointed. Governor Rick Scott announced yesterday that Lockheed Martin will expand upon its Orlando facility, creating 500 new jobs. The global security and aerospace company will invest more than $50 million into its Orlando facility, according to a press release from the governor's office. Lockheed Martin broke ground on a research and development building on Sand Lake Road yesterday afternoon. It is expected to open in 2019, which will be 255,000 square feet, according to officials. Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer said he welcomes the company's continued investment in Orlando, transforming the city into the innovative city it is today. The company employs over 14,000 Floridians in 73 locations statewide. There are currently 7,000 employees at its Orlando location. And those are the headlines from the source WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. 
Come to the 5th Annual Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival on March 3rd, 2018 at the McPherson Government Complex. The festival goal is not only to have vendors, food, a car show, a kid's zone, wag, wiggle, and walk, live entertainment on the main stage, a down-home pie-eating contest, and all things strawberry, but to also raise funds to build a Habitat home for a family in our community. Check out their website, HabitatOcala.org, and follow the link. The Habitat for Humanity Strawberry Festival is March 3rd from 8 to 6 p.m. Come early and enjoy the day. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best char-grilled chicken breasts on earth, as well as their chicken breast salad. And the burgers are exceptional, cooked on a real grill for the best flavor and less fat. And for dessert, blizzards are unequal. So personally, banana split is my all-time favorite. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Hello, may I speak to Ron DeMott, please? Speaking. Ron, this is Larry Whitler at WOCA, and your name was picked to win two tickets to the Daytona 500 this Sunday. That is cool. That is cool. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! The tickets are valued at $190 a piece, and you've got two of them. Congratulations, Ron. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Tish, this email about honey-baked ham giving our listeners $20 off of a nine-pound ham just for mentioning WOCA, is this right? Yes. While supplies last, our listeners can save $20 off of a nine-pound or larger ham. All they have to do is tell them that they heard about it on WOCA. Okay. Call Honey Baked Ham today, 861-0011, or stop by 2709 Southwest 27th Avenue, right there behind Best Buy. Tell them you heard about the special on WOCA and save $20, but hurry in. This is a limited-time offer. Some mulch plants that are beneficial for your garden. That's coming up on This Land of Ours. Register today for the 2018 Georgia Organics Conference and Expo on February 16th through 17th in Augusta, Georgia. Conference attendees will connect with like-minded peers, tour farms, cultivate new skills, and discover 70 exhibit booths with innovative food and agriculture-related information. Georgia Organic members receive a 20% discount, while farmer members receive nearly 50% off. Visit conference.georgiaorganics.org for more information. Ticket sales end February 5th. Why does Daddy spend so much time caring for the land, Mom? When he's... 